So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you the new version of the water system which is 1.1 and the new features that we've added to the water system. Right now when you select the river over here you can see flow speed, flow direction and splash threshold. So the first one is controlling the speed of your river. So if I put 0.2 you can see slow moving river, the current is very slow and if I do a flow direction of 0 you're not going to have a direction of the flow so the river will be still and this is more like a pond if i do minus one i'm going to reverse the river flow and we're going to go in the opposite direction so from the flow direction you can control the direction of the speed from the flow speed you can control the speed of the river itself and let me put point eight so it can be a little bit subtle the next thing is the splash threshold this means at what point splashes will be generated around objects so if the flow speed is above 0.5 splashes will be generated onto this object the next thing that we've added is a swimming system and underwater post process effect so let me just deep dive into this also we've added sounds as you can see over here uh, our cube mass is is light and the splashes behind the cube from the river current are shown because the river current is 0.8 and we've set up 0.5 for spawning splashes around objects and now our object is traveling with the current but if I do this if I select the object and go to the mass of the object right now I'm gonna put one more zero over here I'm gonna play and right now our object is just underwater and because the mass is too big for the current of the river to move it all right so the next thing sounds in the water you also have a splash effect when you jump we also have a little trail when you move with your character around the water a little white trail like a foam this everything here will be polished in the next version but everything is working and when you go in deep water you start swimming and you also have this idle animation here like a placeholder all right and then when you go under the water we have this nice post process of underwater effect all right so we are approaching our cube so those are the new things that we've added to our water system and we have different floating objects with different mass you can push them around depending on the mass also we have trail around our moving objects inside the water if you want to get the update of the water system 1.01 go to my patreon page and download it now thank you guys for watching see you in the next one and before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video, happy game development, I'm out.